Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Shane. If you are just joining us, please kindly do well to share and subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to give us a feedback. Fire for fire, as Nigerian military vows to pursue perpetrators of tragic kill of 17 military personnel in Delta State. So guys, let us quickly hear the content of the report. In response to the recent tragic incident in the Koma community in Ugoli South local government area of Delta State, we are 16 soldiers and several civilians lost their lives. The Defense Headquarters has reaffirmed its commitment to maintaining a strong military presence in the creeks. The troops are actively engaged in an intensive manhunt for endurance oko de also known as Amagbe, the prime suspect, along with others implicated in the violence. Major General Jama Abdul Salam, General Officer commanding the 6th Division Nigerian Army, Land Component, Commander of the Joint Tax Force, South South Operation Data Safe emphasized the Army's dedication to the mission during a condolence visit by Dr. Samuel Obuku, the Managing Director, Civil Executives Officer of Niger Data Development Commission. The visit which took place at the division's headquarters in Port Harcourt Barracks, underscores the gravity of the situation and the need for justice for the fallen soldiers and civilians. Abdul Salam stated unequivocally that the military would remain in the creeks until they have successfully retrieved all weapons looted by the assailant and apprehended everyone involved in the erroneous acts. He assured that the operations would be conducted with firmness, strength, decisiveness, professionalism, reflecting the seriousness of the situations and the imperative of restoring peace and order in the affected areas. Recall, the incident in Okwama community has triggered a robust response from the Nigerian military, shedding light on the challenges in securing volatile regions and the determination of the armed forces to restore peace and order. Abdul Salam, while appreciating the Niger Data Development Commission Managing Director and his team for the visit, reiterated that the troop remains focused on their mission despite any attempts at distraction or obstruction. He emphasized that the mission handed to troops 
by the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja, is to recover the weapons carted away by the perpetrators of the crime and ensure that all those involved are arrested. Troops will persist in their efforts until these objectives are achieved, with operations conducted in line with global best practices, respecting rules of engagement and fundamental human rights. Abdul Salam appealed to the public to assist troops in locating the fleeing suspects and the stolen weapons, urging them to provide credible intelligence to aid in apprehending the criminals. He assured the people of the Niger Delta region that troops would not rest until all those involved are brought to justice, emphasizing that the operation is aimed at preventing future attacks on the armed forces and restoring peace to the region. He also addressed the issue of false narratives and propaganda, stating that such attempts to distort the truth would not deter troops from carrying out their duties. Abdul Salam stressed the importance of collaboration between the military and civilian institutions for the common good of society, highlighting the symbol, symbol, symbiotic relationship between peace, security, and development. The tragic events in Okwama community serve as a stark reminder of the challenges faced in maintaining security in volatile regions and the sacrifice made by the armed forces in protecting civilians and preserving peace. So guys, what is your take on this. Please kindly feel free to share and subscribe to this channel.